Welcome back to Sunless Sea. This is going to be a very action-packed episode. There is a ton of stuff to do in a very small area. I'm not going to reiterate all of it since I went over it at the end of the last episode, but suffice to say I'm going to hit Aestavel, Aram, and the Avid Horizon, and then Port Cecil. At least those are the kind of the main areas that I'm going to hit. Um, can hit Nunsigo along the way just to get a port report, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. All ready to go, got enough fuel and supplies for the journey. Low on supplies, but I'm going to restock at Aestavel. So yeah, other than stopping at Nuncio for the port report, the stop at Aestavel is going to be to... Let's see, one thing to do is to gather supplies, another thing to do is to fill up my my uh, empty mirror catch box, since I'm going to sell that illegally at London, just along with my along with my firkins of red honey. Oh crap. Let's avoid you. If I blow you up, I am going to get more suspicion. I think it saw me, but let's actually go above it. Otherwise, I'm not exactly going to be able to hit Nunsio very easily. Oh my god. It's alright, I think we can outrun it. Yeah, I think it's so freaking slow. Look at that. Look at that fat tub. Alright, we're good. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Nuncio for the port report. And then Aestavel to fill the sunlight, the empty mirror catch box full of sunlight. Sell it illegally. Oh, come on. Sell it illegally at London. And get some supplies. And see if that, uh, see if Aestavel counts as the whatever it was called, the, sh the shore of history's something for the Glorious Bones quest that I got from... from... the Chelinate. Yeah, because I mentioned something about a beach of histories or something of the sort, and Aestavel is the only beach that I could think of. So I'm thinking that might be it. Alright, we good now? Yeah, we're good. Let's get a port report. Um, let's see. I don't actually want to use my something awaits me in port here since it's probably not going to come back by the time I get to Aestavel, so I'm going to save it. Hmm. I think I should have bought more fuel at Khan's Glory. could stop using my lights. Um, I think I am going to actually lose a bunch of fear at Aram when I use the Dark Drop Coffee Bean, so it might be okay to run with my lights off for a bit. Hmm. Nah, it'll be fine. Actually, screw it, I'm going to turn them off. <laughs> Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Just until it turns red. Did my horn as a joke? I didn't actually see that when I did that. Uh, rat barge. Okay, I can take him. I actually don't seem to know I'm here. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's coming behind them. No, please don't turn. Okay, thank... Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Shouldn't have put your back to me. Slow him down, get him behind him, and we're good. <laughs> Listen to that boat, the boat squeak. Oh, they just repaired themselves. Industrious bastards. Ash of Curiosities. 
Bolt of spider silk. Eh. Not worth that much, but it's something. Reduce my terror by a little bit, too. I guess it does make sense that they're actually able to repair themselves at, at sea. Since... They are rats, after all, and it is the rats that I can use myself to actually repair my own ship. The pneumatic rat sender. Okay, a uh, bunch of things to do. Port report first. Cool. The thing I need most urgently is supplies, since I only have one left, so let's go with that. Oh my god. This place is amazing. Eleven supplies. Just like that. Eleven supplies. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to wait, right? Oh no, okay, so I can fill my mirror catch box without waiting. Cool. This may increase my wounds. That should be fine. I have no wounds at the moment. So... Yeah, I don't mind increasing my wounds. Okay, I've got one wound. I don't want any more than one. But, uh, I have the light. Let's just ignore the fact for a second that I'm a vampire, and if I actually did this, I would be dead. Mortal measures. You fill the box successfully, but the sunlight has lit a fire in your bones. You struggle back to the ship and wait while the fever subsides. Be wary. This is true sunlight and it can be unpredictable death to those who've spent too long here below. Yeah, in particular death to me. It's very dangerous, but who cares when it's so pretty? I do. I'm a vampire. Of course, the game doesn't know that. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty cool if that was one of the backstories, wouldn't it? Just like you can choose to be a philosopher or, or whatever you want. Wouldn't it be cool if you could choose to be a vampire? And that's why you came to the Untersee, because there's very little light. That would actually be interesting. Alright, so I should be able to sell that at London. For how much, I have no idea. I don't think it's something you can just kind of generally sell. I think you'd have to give it to somebody like the Brass Embassy. Alright, so this doesn't seem to be History's Beach. Hmm. Let me just make sure I didn't forget something. I'm just going to hang around here and wait for my something awaits me in port to come back. <laughs> I think I can go beachcombing. I think I'm going to try that instead of getting supplies. I'm pretty sure if this was actually History's Beach or whatever that guy said, I think that would actually be a specific you know, kind of quest thing that would pop up. I don't think it'd be hidden under Explore. But, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> this really is not very exciting. And if I remember right, I don't think it comes back in time for when I get to Aram, so I think I'm going to have to wait a little bit outside of Aram, too. Yeah, so let's try going beachcombing. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute, the remnants of a shipwreck. You wanted a tale, right? A tale from history's beach or something? This could be it. I don't think it is, though. Nah, just four supplies. <laughs> Yay, Murgatroyd's Fungal Crackers. Mmm. Cool. Well, now that I've got so many damn supplies, let's uh, use them to repair my ship, I guess. Whoa. Uh, don't look at them. Lost one tear. Nice. Yeah, let's just get up to 200. Am I going to burn one more supply to get up to 200? Yeah, why not? Okay. 
It'd feel way too unsatisfying to stay at 199 hit points. Well, now that I waited around repairing my ship, I might have my something awaits me in port by the time I get to Aram. So yeah, if that wasn't History's Beach, then I really have no idea where that would be. I can't think of any place that even has sand. And if a place doesn't have sand, I don't think it could be considered a beach, can it? At least it certainly isn't what comes to mind when I think of a beach. A place with no sand. Oh, there we go. Came back. Nice. So yeah, what am I going to do here? Uh, I'm going to use my sack of dart drop coffee beans to just reduce my tear and do all the nice stuff there. Uh, also going to buy a strange catch to talk to one of my officers. Or maybe it wasn't an officer. It might have been the, the unsettling sage that I needed the strange catch for. And he's not actually an officer. But anyway... Report, report. Mm -hmm. Let's visit the house of the Amber Sky. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the glorious story? Is this the, the tale I needed? I think that might be it. Let's see what else there is. Yeah, a bunch of stuff I can't do. So, yes, it's a bunch of special stuff, and then there's kind of like the general just rest, recover, dream. But then there's this. Seek the glory story. A hunter will wait beside a fallen stone with a splintered spear. He will beckon you. There is a place, you will say, where I sent my enemies. What you want is there. Be ready to join it. There is the path. Above the path, the sky cools to the cracked orange of old lava. Yeah, this requires glory's bones. Okay. I didn't expect to find this here. I'm really glad I bought the sack of dark drop coffee beans. Jesus, that was lucky. I just wanted to do that just to, you know, reduce my terror. Just rest, recover, and dream. I wasn't thinking it would have anything to do with this. Let's do it. The Wazwood. A blackened cliff falls away at your feet. In the glen below, a white wood of leafless trees await you. This is the Wazwood. All things within are gone forever, and all things that are gone forever lie within. Oh my god. What in the heck am I going to do here? Oh wait, these aren't all... Oh no, these... Okay, so it still has the other old options. Just these two things. Seek the Council of the Dead, or walk it? Hmm... The Council of the Dead will give you wounds, but will bring you closer to your quest's end. No thanks, I already have a wound. And my mirror's quality is very, very good, so I think I should do this. Yeah, 73. Pretty good chance. Now I wish I just had my mirror's thing equipped to my ship. Give me seven more points in that. But now I've got my pages equipped. Oh well, still a good chance. Alright, so... I walked the Wazwood. All things within are gone forever, and all things that are gone forever lie within. When you walked its paths, you knew you might join them. Well, succeeded. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, I succeeded, but I still gained a wound. And if I get one more, I die. Uh... I've gained three times another day where the wood was... where the wood was. New total four. When blah 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 reaches seven, you'll find what you seek. I'm... I'm not gonna stay here any longer. If I get another wound, I am dead. My character is permanently dead. I'm getting the fuck out of here, but before that, let's see what happened. Dust. The ground was dry as chalk but no dust puffed from your footsteps. It lay thick on the earth, on the ruins, on the bark of trees, on the bones, but it clung like lichen. You crushed the bones beneath your feet. Impossibly, you followed that trail of crushed bone into the heart of the wood. Once known, that path was not easily forgotten.
Oh, it looks like you can't actually even do it if your wounds are as high as mine are. So it looks like it actually prevents you from dying due to these wounds. Which is very considerate of it. And this you can only do if you actually have wounds. Which would actually be really interesting to do, but unfortunately I don't have any more Z stories, so I can't do it. That's a shame. Okay, well, damn, I couldn't complete that. Hmm. Yeah, there's no easy way to get rid of my wounds. And also get another sack of dark drop coffee beans. So I think I'm just going to have to wait until I come back here. Maybe. Well, hold on. Let's see what happens. Let's rest, recover, and dream. Maybe that will get rid of wounds. No, just lost 20 tear. Two memories of distant shores. I've got 42 of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I still have two wounds. Okay, well, that's done with. Now it's time for the strange catch. Just checking out what else they have here. Oh, that's right. I can sell my secrets for no money whatsoever. What a great deal. Alright, let's grab a strange catch. And speak to... it's you, right? Hey, wait a minute. I can actually use this item? <laughs> I don't think I want to. I'm pretty sure if I peer inside of that box, I'm going to get burned again and probably die due to my third wound. Yeah, so it's him that I needed the strange catch for. Let's talk. A candid discussion. I am accustomed, he admits frankly, to being used as a tool. This is what your mechanic will do. No matter. I am in his debt. My people made me as a repository of secrets. It will be a relief when that ends. But until then, I shall keep the secrets a little longer. Still, your company is pleasant. This is for you. He hands you a little nodule of deep amber. It is warm to the touch. Oh, thank you. Gave me an extraordinary implication. 100 Echo. Okay. The thing is, I was thinking I needed to talk to him to continue progressing the officer's quest, but it looks like I don't. Can I talk to him again? Oh, I can. I can use up one of my 42 memories of distant shores. Let's tell him a story. Ah. Ah, that is good. Yes. Let me tell you something of the sea. Oh, I exchanged one memory of distant shores for a Z story. That's a really good deal. I mean, it's a one-to-one -one exchange rate, and I'm exchanging something that I have an incredibly large amount of with something that I have nothing of. In fact, can I keep using him as just a conversion <laughs> for those stories? Okay, I can. Well, let's make them equal. The number of memories of distant shores to the Z stories. Keep, uh, keep converting, my friend. I'm probably going to accidentally keep clicking through one of these things and <laughs> like one of these dialogue options is going to be him saying, hey, do you mind if I kill you and just like shoot you in the head and dump your body over and become the new captain? I'm just going to say like, yes, whoops, killed myself. And done. 21, 21. Okay. That was, um, that was, <laughs> that was a lot of storytelling. It's an exhausting night. Need a drink of water after all that talking. Ah. Okay. So yeah, that is actually not what I needed to progress the officer's quest. In that case, what the heck do I need to do to progress his quest? Because it's, it's you. I needed the secret from Frostbound, which I got. I needed the Unsettling Sage, which I got. I just need to take him somewhere, but I guess it tells me where to take him somewhere in my journal, but I really can't find out where it says... I need to look through this extensively again, I guess. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, so the materials for the Impeller objective is actually what I need to continue the mechanics questline. I actually looked at this before, but I ignored it because I thought it was related to another uh, completely different questline, but this is actually it. Yeah, I need to take the Mechanic Secret, and the Unsettling Sage, and 40 units of Stygian Ivory, a Casket of Sapphires, and an Element of Dawn to King Eater's Castle, which is all the way down here. That is not going to happen. Anytime soon. Not only do I not even know where an Element of Dawn can be gotten from, but... Just to even have 40 units of Stygian Ivory on my ship is literally impossible, because I only have 40 hold space, so I wouldn't be able to hold any fuel or any supplies if I had the Stygian Ivory alone, so yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until I have a bigger ship. So I'm just gonna put that on the back burner for now. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put some other stuff on the back burner as well. I wanted to fi finish up my whole vision quest thing at Aram with the Glorious Bones quest, but I have too many wounds for that, and uh, to, to be able to actually go back and do that, I'm pretty sure I need another sack of Dark Drop Coffee Beans. And I want to go up to the Avid Horizon to continue the Citadel Ridden Navigator's quest using the strategic information. But the problem is, with two wounds, if I gain one more, I'm going to die. I can't risk doing anything that might kill my character. Anything that even has, like, the vaguest chance of giving me a wound. And going to the Avid Horizon has a pretty good chance of doing just that, because that place is scary as hell. I gained like 10 or 20 terror just by staring up at the stars there. That place is scary. But the thing is, I'm going to be really disappointed if I don't get to do this stuff in this episode. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go back to London. Well, I'm going to take a stop at Port Cecil and dump off the guy, since I think that's got a pretty low chance of actually giving me a wound. So I'll do that along the way, but then I'll go back to London and cut out the journey there. Do whatever I have to do in London, you know, buy some more supplies, buy Dark Drop Coffee Beans and rest. Resting will get rid of all of my wounds. And then I'm going to come back and just kind of cut out most of the journey there and back. Which should give me enough time to actually complete these things, because I really want to do this stuff in this episode. Here we go, arriving at Port Cecil. But before I do that, let's kill this thing. Because I'm a complete asshole. These things are probably in danger at this point. I've killed so many. Come back onto the surface. I can't shoot you when you're all blue like that. Should I butcher it? Or dissect it? I don't remember what you get for dissecting it. I don't I don't actually remember if I've ever dissected them before. Um I am lowish on supplies, let's do that. Oh, you don't actually get any food. Just hunting trophies, stitching and ivory. Could cut it. I don't know, that icon is just the same icon that is already there for wounds, and I'm worried that if I cut it open I might get a wound, uh you won't suffer the terror effects. It sounds like it just increases terror, so it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Lost hunger. Gained one terror. Oh, that's fine. Probably should have just dissected it, though. Losing 24 hunger or whatever that was is not really worth much. Also, I'm really low on fuel. Damn. I thought I'd be able to keep my lights on until I got back to London, but it looks like I won't. But that's okay. I'm gonna lose 20 terror by spending some time with my family, I think. So, it'll be fine. Alright, let's dump off this guy at Port Cecil. Ah, uh, burning blue. Uh, spin them a story. Lost 5 terror, nice. Okay, let's drop off the checkered character. <laughs> Isn't it ironic that I'm dropping off the checkered character at a place where everybody plays chess? Checkers? Chess? Get it? Huh. Okay, it's not that funny. 
Anyway, uh, he waits eagerly by the rail, lifts his head to inhale. I can already smell the chests he announces. You know, that sounds familiar. I feel like I've perhaps taken him on board before. 100 echoes, nice. He says neither of these things. Yeah, I do remember somebody saying this. Well, thank you for the echo. Looks like that's it. Let's get a port report. Anything else to do? I can explore. There's still nothing more to do with you, right? Yeah. Okay, let's explore. Another raggedy fellow. Ain't got no room, sorry. Okay, gonna continue on my way and I will cut until I get back to London. Hello, teleporting ship. You gonna teleport? <laughs> oh my god! It really is the ghost ship. I'm starting to think they've actually left that in on purpose. It'd be pretty funny. Anyway, we're almost back to London, which, uh, thank god, because I'm almost out of everything. Like, seriously, I'm really, really low on stuff. I turn around to shoot the bats, but I can't spare the time. I'm not even gonna stop here. Be funny if, like, my character died because I ran out of fuel ten feet from the docks of London. I don't actually know if you'd, like, just die instantly if you run out of fuel, or if there's some sort of a... Like, I, I don't maybe you pay a recovery free fee to get, like, AAA to come and tow your boat or something? I don't know. There's cell phones in the Z, isn't there? Alright, here we go. Jesus Christ. Alright, this is going to be interesting, because I have shit tons of illegal stuff. Sunlight and two firkins of red honey. So here we go, please don't search my ship. Okay. Not good. But, wait a minute. Fuck, what? Oh shit. Oh shit, this is really bad. Um... This is weird. Why can't I use my Admiralty's favor to stop them? Wasn't I able to do that before? Why, why is that not an option? Okay, this is... This is really fucking bad. God damn, I don't even have enough money to pay them off. Which I totally would do, even though it... You know, 500 Echo would actually take out most of my possible profit margin, but still, fuck. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's not the end of the world, though. It says there's no laws against red honey in London, but that won't stop the Ministry from seizing it if they find it. So if they find it, I'm not, like, dead. I'm just gonna lose the profit, I guess. 22% chance of success? There's literally nothing else I can do. I mean... What if I just, like, leave... I don't think you're supposed to. That doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no way that would help things. That'd be way too much of an exploit. Here we go. <laughs> this is why I didn't buy... Well, one of the reasons I didn't buy crap tons of red honey. This is 1,200 echo worth of red honey, though. So it is quite a bit. I failed. Okay, I only lost one firkin, so I get to keep the other one, huh? Alright, it's not the end of the world. That's not terrible. You know, there is a 400 profit margin on each one. So, I'm gonna gain 400 by selling one, but I lost 600 by losing one, so in the end I'm only out 200 echo, which isn't terrible. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, they also seized my money? What the fuck? Hold on. The duty officer uncovers your shipment with ill-concealed glee. She confiscates it, ostensibly for destruction. She puts a thick black mark against her name in her ledger and demands a stiff fine. 
How can you dem demand a fine for something that isn't even illegal? Fucking dicks. Alright, well now I'm out 440, Echo. That blows. I don't understand why I couldn't use my Admiralty's favor. Alright, well, let's sell this stuff. I want this off my freaking boat. There we go. 999 Echo. Cool. Sell my crate of human souls. Sure, probably shouldn't give them that, but whatever. 63. Nice. Okay, finally got some spending money. I don't know what other kinds of money there are other than money to spend. Anyway. Yeah, so what else is there to do? There's actually crap tons of stuff. Let's turn in a bunch of port reports. This is going to help a lot. It's a lot of port reports. Man, look at how many places I've been. Alright, was that it? Looks like that's it. Gave me 16 fuel. Damn. Okay, so I think somebody told me that I need to submit my vital intelligence that I've been holding on to for a really long time. I need to submit it to him to be able to build up, like, my spy network or something. So, let's do that, because it's not come in handy anywhere else, so I don't think there's really any reason to hold on to it. Let's do it. Nice, gained back my lost favor. 350 Echo. Enthusiastic Nods. I'm glad you brought this to me. I have a colleague, of sorts. A diplomat, so-called. I will tell you because I trust you. This diplomat will pay better. But I will put the information to better use. He leans forwards. There are powers in this world I cannot speak of. There are affairs of the Navy I am not proud of. Bring me more information like this, and we can set matters right. I don't believe you, but okay. I don't believe the Admiralty has anybody's best interest at heart other than their own. Alright, I'm going to keep the strategic information, though, because I want that for the Sigil Ridden Navigator's quest. Alright, so that's all done. I do, ooh, I do have a move in the Great Game. I'm going to hold on to that, though, just in case it's useful somewhere else. Let's see if there's anything else he needs in particular. This port... Visit, um, okay, so go to the Cumian Canal. Gotcha. I think he wants more strategic information, because I'm withholding the current strategic information, so he's like, oh, I guess you didn't get any. Go back and find some more. Even though I'm just holding on to it, because I want it. I want it. Hmm, what is this? Ask the Admiral what he thinks of the voracious diplomat. The diplomat, a half-legendary, all-infamous figure whose connections to the Admiralty is obscure. I don't even know who that is, but okay. An unprincipled scoundrel, the Admiral snaps. If you have intelligence, bring it to me. Don't go off the books. Oh, that's just the agent he's talking about. Okay. The one that he said pays better. Yeah, so that's all done. And, oh, there's the diplomat. Oh god, am I going to have enough time in this episode to do everything I wanted to do? I don't know, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Okay, uh, next thing, I need to spend some time with my family, and I need to rest. Let's see if there's anybody to recruit. Just a Zaylor, okay. Uh, my lodgings. Let's read the morning papers, one supply. Recent news, okay. Yeah, spend some time with my family. Just enjoy their company. Lost 20 terror, nice, but that wasn't considered a resting, so I still have my wounds. How do I rest? Oh, here we go. Costs 100 Echo. Alright, let's do it. Ah. Nice. No wounds. That feels really good. But the light. It's pretty. 
Yearning and burning. It's ironic that a vampire is yearning for light. Alright, so that's all good. That's, yeah, that's all good. No wounds. Spend some time with my family. Zero tear. That is very, very good. Nothing more to do with you yet. Brass Embassy. No, um, where do I sell this mirror catch box? Nobody here seems to want it. Also, let's get some more money. Yeah, let's give up one of my three captivating treasures. I want a bit more money to do stuff with. There we go. Nice thousand echo. Nothing else I want to give? Not really. Um, Spuzzle Thrower, an extraordinary implication. Should be fine, I've got three of them. Yeah, 250, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else do I need to do? What about the shops? Let's sell my garbage. Stygian Ivory, I don't need that. Bolt of Spider Silk, don't need that. Desperately need more supplies. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not going to find any place to sell my illegal box of sunlight here. I do still have it, don't I? Yeah, they didn't seize it. Cannot be sold in London. Hold on, let me check my charts. Sunlight filled. There we go. Okay, so it sells for 300 at Gator's Morn, but that's not worth it. I mean, the box itself, unfilled, the empty box, was 250 to buy. A profit margin of 50, that's just not worth it. There's got to be a better place to take it. But that's the only place listed here. How strange. There's got to be a place like the Brass Embassy where you can sell this stuff. Maybe I should use it. Can consume the sunlight, empties the box, gives you a wound, and slightly reduces tear. That is not worth it. Nope. Yeah, nobody wants this box. Do you want the box? Nope. Alright. Let's talk to the diplomat. She's an interesting looking sort. The diplomat lairs near Mansion's Pyre in a second-floor office above a gymnasium for pugilistic ladies and gentlemen. Your conversation is punctuated by distant shouts and blows. The diplomat smiles fondly at the sounds. Pick up an agent. Ooh, I can give my moves in the great game to her. Or my vital intelligence. Okay, so... Yeah, the Admiralty said that she pays better, but he will do better stuff with the information. And I like money, and I don't trust the Admiralty, so I don't mind giving my stuff to her. Hmm, let's ask about her role, though. A catly grin. The kind of diplomacy that doesn't get written down. I'm attached to the Admiralty, not the Foreign Office. London is not what she was, but she still has interests abroad. I look after them as best I can. I do hope you're patriotic enough not to ask for too many details. Oh yes, I'm very patriotic. You should see what I did at the Empire of Hands. Alright, so it looks like I can get myself involved with picking up an agent. I have a friend, the diplomat says casually, who would be grateful for passage somewhere else. The Canate, for instance. Are you saying you want me to install a spy to make a network? Hmm. All right, let's do it. I've lost favor with the Admiralty. Whatever, I don't care. When I needed the, when I needed the Admiralty's favor the most, it let me down and didn't do a damn thing. So, fuck them. All right, got a diplomatic agent. Hopefully they don't take up hold space. Let's give my move to her. 50 Echo? Alright, that's not very much at all. She takes notes, mm-hmm. 
Alright, let's ask about the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Do they work closely together? A carefully neutral expression. Well now, the Admiral is a man of principle. Very straightforward. Very traditional in his views. I think it's rather courageous of him to expect the Navy to operate without outside assistance. And he has an excellent taste in both chamber music and wine. I hope that makes my feelings clear. Yes. Yes, yes it does. Oh god, is there time to actually go do what I want to do? This episode might be over an hour long, but ah, screw it, I want to do it. Okay, I've talked to her. I've talked to him, I've turned on my port reports. That's all good. I'm good on fuel, I'm good on supplies. No need to repair my ship. Plenty of people. Nobody wants to buy my box of sunlight for some reason, because they're all assholes. Alright, fine. I've rested. Ooh, there's one thing I need to do. Ooh, 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 almost forgot. Dark drop coffee beans. Let's buy some. Need them for Aram to continue my my vision quest. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, you know what? I think there's something else I could... Ah, oh, fuck, I want to do so many things! I don't think there's enough time. Hold on. There's something in my notes. There's something in my notes. I, I think I needed mushroom wine. Yeah, if I bring two mushroom wine and seven supplies to Shepherd's Isle, I can do something. And that's along the way. Oh. I really want to do it. I'm going to do it. Alright, seven supplies, huh? Oh. Shit, I'm out of space. Alright. That'll have to do. Do I do it this episode? Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do Shepherd's Isle. I'm gonna do Shepherd's Isle and just cut it off there. There's there's really not enough time. It's gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be continuing a couple Well, maybe not a couple. I'm gonna be gonna be continuing one officer's quest, just at the Avid Horizon. And usually those are kind of longish. Yeah, Aram's not an officer's quest, but Still, it's gonna get out of control. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go to Shepherd's Isle. It's gonna be fine. Do I need to bring anything else? No, I don't even have any more room, so it doesn't matter. All right, we're good. All right, so up to Shepherd's Isle, and then I'm just gonna stop there. Can you see the boinkage coming? It's coming. Boink. Can't remember if I can get a port report at Hunter's Keep. I don't think so, because there's kinda nothing left after the whole thing burned down. I will take your supplies, thank you. I think I killed it like one frame before it, uh, like, one frame before it was going to hit me. And, okay, the body disappeared. Cool. Butcher it. Goodbye. 
because I shot it and then I bounced off it immediately. Which means I was super, super close. Get a port report. Now, yeah, this is the special thing. The rest of the Z. Rest of the Z, the bearded watchman scoffs. Here's where you need to be. We don't talk about the rest of the Z. But a sniveling caitiff draws you aside. I got something for you, he promises. But I'll need some of that good stuff from London. A lot of that good stuff. Alright, I got your stuff. I don't know what the hell this is gonna do. What am I even getting myself into? Nuncio. An island filled entirely with rats. But that's nothing. You should see the one where the rats and Cavi's war. These are the Cavi's voyages. What the hell's a Cavi? I don't know, but it gave me a chart. A revelatory chart. Oh ho! The dark spectacled admiral will want to see this. If your admiralty's favor is high enough. I do remember that's one of the things I can give him. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what giving him that really does. I wonder how much it's worth. Probably a decent amount. Alright, well that's gonna have to wait. All right, yeah, I better end this episode here. I'm disappointed and kind of excited. I'm disappointed because I didn't get to do all the things that I was expecting to do in this episode. But the good thing is that I found something that I never expected to get at all, which is I was hoping Aestavel would be the, the beach of history or whatever for the Glory's Bones quest from the Chelinate. It turns out it wasn't, but thankfully, it was actually at Aram, which I got the Dark Drop Coffee Beans to... Uh, and, and require the, the Dark Drop Coffee Beans to even be able to do that sort of quest at Aram, and I just happened to have that, thankfully, even though I wasn't even thinking about that, and I was just trying to reduce my terror and, you know, just do some cool stuff. So I actually got really, really lucky there. Damn lucky. Because I would have had no idea that I needed to do that there. No freaking clue. Because if it wasn't this, then I was thinking maybe the Beach of History would be the Elder Continent. Just because of the name, you know, the Elder Place. It's a place where everything is very old, so that's why I was thinking maybe that could be related to some ancient tale. So if I didn't find that just there at Aram, if I didn't happen to stumble upon that, I probably would have never found it. At least not for a very, very long time. Alright, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head over to Aram and the Avid Horizon and finish what I started.